Do you know who Raggedy Ann is? She has blue eyes, a blue dress, white apron, and a nice wide smile. My Raggedy Ann is a very old doll. She lay in the attic for years. She lived in a trunk there for 50 long years with her legs doubled over her ears. And that's where I found her, my Raggedy Ann. And grandmother gave her to me. So I love every wrinkle in Raggedy Ann. And that's why she's smiling at me. My Raggedy Ann is so loppy and soft, I cuddle her closely at night. She lies there contentedly while I'm awake, with her shoe button eyes shining bright. But when I'm asleep, then my Raggedy Ann goes out with the fairies to play. For she thinks I don't know it, sly Raggedy Ann, but she can't fool me that way. My Raggedy Ann has a wonderful heart, it's made out of candy, you know. She keeps it sewed up in her cotton insides, you can feel it, but still it won't show. If I had a heart like my Raggedy Ann, I'd surely know what I would do. Why, I'd love everybody like Raggedy does and make all their wishes come true. Listen to the crows. They're talking to the cheery scarecrow. There in rain and snow The cheery scarecrow Has no place to go The cheery scarecrow Wonder if when day is done He'll move about or run Still he stands and smiles The cheery scarecrow Looking off for miles The cheery scarecrow Can you be as trouble-free And just as patient as he I have often wondered what the fairies sing When at night they're dancing round their fairy ring it would be great fun to watch them, but I would not try to catch them. I just love to see them make their ring. Now, while we play the music, you dance around the fairy ring. Ready? Dance. <laughs> Sometimes in the woodland down beneath a tree Many pearly buttons you may often see They are chairs the fairies bring there When they come to dance and sing there But they are too small for you and me Here's the worn out doll Her socks are blue and her dress is red And she has yellow hair all over her head And she says, I'm just a doll a worn out doll my arms and legs are missing and just from so much kissing i sometimes feel my face will peel but i don't care at all i've lost an eye but should i cry if i have one dress only why i am never lonely i'm loved the best of all the rest a happy doll am I. Here we are at the cookie bush. Dear little cookie bush, sweet candy cookie bush, all kinds of cookies are there. Some are of chocolate moss, others of shiny gloss, all have a flavor rare. Dear little cookie bush, sweet candy cookie bush, you'd love the cookies I know. Oh, there are no stomach aches eating these fairy cakes. 
I'll tell you where they grow. Close by the donut tree, wonderful pies you'll see just where the candy cake shows. Oh, near springs of lemonade, stirred with a candy spade, that's where the cookie bush grows. Here's a song for your mother. Oh, mother dear, my mother dear, gentle mother dear, when you're away, I miss you so. Wish that you were near To kiss away my lonely tears And drive away my fears I cannot tell you all you mean to me My mother dear You must love your mother more every day you live Because she loves you so much, you know Now let you and I sing Mother's Song together You ready? Oh, mother dear, my mother dear, gentle mother dear, when I'm away from home and you, your sweet voice I hear, in whispers low each evening when I say my goodnight prayers, I hear you give your blessing to me then, my mother dear. Beloved Belindy has orange shoes, a yellow and green dress, a red kerchief around her head, and she's always singing. Beloved Belindy, my black mammy doll, with her white pearl button eyes, crooning the dollies to dreamland with her sweet low lullabies. Gently she rocks them and cuddles them close, Till off to dreamland they go Mother to all is Belindy That's why we all love her so Listen, Frederica's dancing Frederica is a dolly made in Holland land with her funny cap and apron, wooden shoes in hand. From the land of dikes and windmills, she has come to see all the queer things in this country and to visit me. Frederica was so clever, she could say, Mama, Mama. Every day I took her riding on a trolley car. But she didn't watch her step when on a ride last week. She tripped and took an awful tumble. Now she's lost her squeak. Tinkling brooklet tumbling o'er the stones Hear the laughing happy singing in its bubbling tones Through the sunlight and the shadows singing on in happy glee Splashing, dashing, making rainbows as it hurries to the sea Hear the little giggling brooklet laughing as in fun Hear the joyous happy singing as it hurries on The sunlight and the shadows singing on in happy glee Splashing, dashing, making rainbows as it hurries to the sea Hear the little giggling brook that laughing as in fun Hear the joyous happy singing as it hurries on You like Christmas? I know a little song about Christmas Bells are ringing Christmas morn, tidings bringing Christ is born. Angels singing up above, songs of joy and love. 
Lift your happy voices, children, while the angels hover near. Joyful carols singing, Christmas presents bringing, Christmas happiness is here. Little Wooden Willie has red pants, red hair, red nose, a yellow hat, and he's made all of wood. Little Wooden Willie, people thought him silly, cause he had a knot hole in the middle of his head. So he put a hat on, and since he has that on, folks who call him silly think he's wise instead. People thought him silly Cause he had a knot hole in the middle of his head So he put a hat on And since he has that on Folks who call him silly Think he's wise instead Can scarcely drag his feet If he gets much worse He'll be too tired to eat He's so old and stiff He isn't worth his keep He would go to bed But he'd be too tired to sleep There was a time, so I am told He ran away with Grandpa Cole He smashed the buggy on the pole But that was long ago now the tired old horse is happy in his way For he dreams he still can hear his master say Rum tilly um tum, get at The tired old horse has a red coat and a green tie And big yellow glasses and a tall red hat With holes for his ears to stick out Oh, the tired old horse is happy in his way For he dreams he still can hear his master say Run tiddly um bum get up That sounds like the cuckoo in the cuckoo clock, doesn't it? Cuckoo clock, cuckoo clock Wake me from my dreaming When the sun comes gleaming With your cheery cuckoo Cuckoo clock, cuckoo clock When the school bell's ringing Then I hear you singing Cuckoo, time to go to school Cuckoo clock, cuckoo clock You are never weary you are ever cheery with your happy cuckoo. Cuckoo clock, cuckoo clock, when I'm through my playing, then I hear you saying, cuckoo, time to go to sleep. Wiggy, Snoop Wiggy runs up on four feet, you see. Green his head, his hair is red, looks like a dunce, does he? Snoop Wiggy, Snoop Wiggy, he is kind as you'll agree. Never sad, never bad, happy as he can be. Ho, ho, he, he, as happy as he can be. Oh, hear the happy bluebirds singing in the rain. They're singing to the rainbow, shining there again. So let us be like bluebirds, happy all day long, forgetting all our troubles in a sunny song. Oh, 
hear the happy bluebirds singing in the rain. They're singing to the rainbow, shining there again. So let us be like bluebirds, happy all day long, forgetting all our troubles in a sunny song. Here is Raggedy Andy with his blue and white cap and his red hair and his blue pants and his red and white socks and his smile that never comes off. Who always seems to be grinning cheerily No matter what may happen Who but old Raggedy Andy He's just a little rag doll Who has the reddest hair But who doesn't care Who's stuffed with nice white cotton Who but old Raggedy Andy He's such a happy rag doll. Who has the reddest hair, but who doesn't care? Who stuffed with nice white cotton? Who but old Raggedy Andy? He's such a happy rag doll. The nice big fat policeman Loves cookies and cream puffs and pies His red cheeks are chubby His two chins are tubby His waistline's enormous in size He has put no one in prison He has nobody out on parole Because that policeman That nice fat policeman Has never arrested a soul the nice fat policeman was crying. He was crying because he didn't want to arrest Mr. Hooley Gooley. You'd never meet a nicer lad than Harry Hooley Gooley, for never in his whole life had he ever been unruly. H. W. Lee, G. W. Lee, Harry, who loved Henrietta truly, who was newly Mrs. Harry Hooley Gooley. G. W. Lee, Harry, who loved Henrietta truly, who was newly Mrs. Harry Hooley Gooley. Mr. Hooley Gooley invited the nice fat policeman to enjoy the wonderful meals that his wife cooked over the magic burning stick. Oh, the magic burning stick was like a cook stove, nice and quick. When you told the stick to burn, it would cook things to a turn. Steaks and chops and kidney stew, pies and cakes and spinach too. You could cook them quickly as tick-tock, tick on the magic burning stick. A funny little man ran out the back door of the nice fat policeman's house. It was the wicked magician. Said the wicked magician, I know what I'll do. I'll mix up some pancakes to give to those two. I'll put in some magical thingamajigs, and at the first bite they will turn into pigs. Ha 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 ha. That's exactly what happened. So Raggedy Ann said, I'll turn the tables on that bad man. I'll bake an ice cream puff, and then I will slide a piece of his magical pancake inside then she left the magical cream puff in sight the magician grabbed it and took a big bite the magician's magic soon worked without fail he turned into a little pig with a tail oink 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 <laughs> The 
magician, he whistled for Hector, and the puppy came wagging his tail. And thanks to the help of the puppy, the magician escaped from the jail. The two rag dolls, the nice fat policeman, and the hooli ghoulies went to see the wild gazook. The wild gazook said sadly, You are sure to note. I look most peculiarly like a billy goat. Once upon a time, my life was full of joy. I lived with my mother like any other boy. You must know the reason for this funny look. The bad magician changed me into a wild gazook. They tried to catch the magician, but the nice fat policeman lost his breath. And he ran around in circles trying to catch his breath again. Raggedy Ann said, Don't get excited and red in the face If you lose your breath Don't you get nervous and give it a chase If you lose your breath Stop, still, relax, and then Stand still, count to ten Breathe out, breathe in and you'll have your breath again. Raggedy Ann took the magician's book of magic and changed the wild gazook back into a little boy. The bad magician was changed back into Mr. Grace, the grocer. And everything in his store was free. There were cookies and ice cream and sodas and cakes in the magic store. There were books, there were toys, there were hot dogs and steaks in the magic store. If you pay the grocer, why he would say, no sir, you don't have to pay anymore. It's a pleasure you see, for everything's free in the magic store. Raggedy Ann started off to find the beautiful golden butterfly. And then she came to Uncle Unc's and Auntie Ant's store. Uncle Unc and Auntie Ant were close as fork and knife. He was the husband, the husband. She was the wifey wife. Uncle Unc's are uncles. Auntie Ant's are aunts. Auntie Ant's wear skirts and lace, but Uncle Unc's wear pants. Auntie Ant and Uncle Unc ran a magic, magic store. When a shelf of toys grew empty, why it just filled up with more. Auntie Ant invited Raggedy Ann into her magic house. The radio said as it started to play, we're going to have sunny weather today. Auntie Ant said, you will see if you look, a meal made by my magic recipe book. Then Raggedy Ann and her Auntie Ant ate The lunch that was served by each magical plate Said Auntie Ant, there are no dishes to do For Auntie Ant's dishes are magical too After lunch, Raggedy Ann and Auntie Ant started out to find Raggedy Andy and Uncle Unc Millicent went along too Millicent was a little toy dog Millicent wagged her little short tail. Millicent had a silly little Millicent nose. She could follow any trail. She'd sniff, sniff with her nose to the ground. Sniff, sniff and zigzag around. Barking her lusty little sawdusty barks. Millicent went running through the woods and parks. They found Uncle Unc and begged him to come home. But Uncle Unc ran into the grotto of greed. But afterwards he was sorry. The people never trust each other when they are in the grotto of greed. They take things away from each other 
Even things that they'll never need They only want the gold and glitter They never do a kindly deed They're so unhappy and so bitter When they live in the grotto of greed After his friends rescued Uncle Unc, they had a picnic by the weenie tree. There were lots of weenies growing on a wild hot weenie tree. And as they grew, they wiggled until they wiggled free. Oh, you've never had a weenie as good as a weenie can be until you've had a weenie from a wild hot weenie tree. They dropped down on a hot space and rolled themselves around. They sizzled and they sputtered till they were nicely browned. As soon as they popped open, they started on a run Right through a bowl of mustard and hopped inside a bun Oh, you've never had a weenie as good as a weenie can be Until you've had a weenie from a wild hot weenie tree A cow came by, she said, gloop morning My lady cow said, don't you think my hat is sweet And did you see the shoes and stockings on my feet my dress is what the better kind of cows will wear When we all sing together at the county fair Uncle Unc ran off again and they found him in an old castle Where the golden butterfly fluttered above A truly lovely sight the butterfly raised and lowered her wings Which shone with a golden light As over the tumble-down castle she flew Where once she used to dwell For the butterfly really was a princess Who was under a magic spell Early next morning they had breakfast in the pancake zone a nice clear place was the Pancake Zone Pancake steaming on a big fat stone They kept flip-flop, flip-flopping up and down Until they all were a golden brown by the lake in the Pancake Zone Uncle Unc was content just to be Uncle Unc, and that made Raggedy Ann very happy. There's a castle of content for every girl and boy. There's a world that's full of good things for us to enjoy. There are many things to see and many things to do. For whenever you're contented, you are happy too. Raggedy Ann and Raggedy Andy walked along the tumbling brook till they met the Fuzzy Wump whose words all came out backward. The Fuzzy Wump's thoughts bumped around in his head. He meant to say blue, but the word came out red. When he said goodbye, he was thinking hello. And when he meant yes, he said no, 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 no. He cried when he was happy and laughed when he was sad. He called daddy mama, he called mama dad. He always ran last cause he wanted to win. And that's the condition that a fuzzy wump's in. The fuzzy wump had a puppy dog and a wonderful magic book. It was a big book of magic like no other book you have seen. You watch the stories like movies you see on the screen. But please be careful. Sit very still as you look. Or you fall into a story in the magic book. So be very careful. Sit very still as you look. Or you fall into a story in the magic book. Raggedy Ann opened the magic book and there was Jack climbing up the beanstalk. 
Jack climbed the beanstalk, stole the harp, and started to come back. The story went as usual, the giant chasing Jack. At that, the puppy jumped right in and nipped the giant's heel. The giant cried and ran away upon his magic wheel. Then the story of Cinderella appeared. As soon as the story began, it was mixed up by Raggedy Ann. She shook the two stepsisters out of the book when they made Cinderella do dishes and cook. The story got mixed up as mints. The pumpkin turned into the prince. The pup chased a mouse in and out of the house, and the sisters have worked ever since. Raggedy Andy turned Fuzzy Wump upside down, and then his words came out right. Fuzzy Wump said, I told a little lie for fun, and then I told another one. Soon I was telling them two by two, and I couldn't tell the truth when I wanted to. But now that you've turned me upside down, my stories all have turned around. And now I find that telling the truth makes me happier than getting a new front tooth. The story of Hansel and Gretel was handy, so Raggedy Ann and Raggedy Andy helped themselves to the cream puffs and candy from the candy house. While they were having ice cream sodas at the magic fountain, Sinbad the sailor came along. Heave ho, Sinbad, the sailor cried. I've traveled over the ocean wide. I've taken adventures in my stride, but I've never seen any sodas. I've never seen any sodas. No chocolate, no cherry, no strawberry floats up pagodas. No, I've never seen any sodas. In distant lands, I've looked upon the lions, tigers, and elephant. I've met the cannibal chief, Bong Bong, but I've never seen any sodas. I've never seen any sodas. No chocolate, no cherry, no strawberry floats of pagodas. No, I've never seen any sodas. The two rag dolls, Fuzzy Wump and the puppy, heard the three bears singing. Oh, we're glad we're in a story, asserted Father Bear. But we haven't yet met Goldilocks, and we don't think it's fair, said Father Bear and Mother Bear and teeny weeny little baby bear. Oh, I'd like to give her porridge, continued Mother Bear. They all said we'll cook up a meal, we three and she can share, said Father Bear and Mother Bear and teeny weeny little baby bear. Then they met Little Red Riding Hood and the wolf. The wolf said, I misunderstood. It makes me very sad. The story of Red Riding Hood pretends that I'm so bad. But I'll give you my word and bond, I'm really very good. I've always been a very good friend of Little Red Riding Hood. Just then the Fuzzy Wump's mother came along and lifted him out of the magic book. Then Raggedy Andy and Raggedy Ann said goodbye Wump and home they ran. And that was the end of the trip that they took in the magical magic book. <laughs>